So not to be, look at those Irish faces walking into the dressing room. I don't think they could have given any more. Now, George Hook, I think you have a lot of negativity to take back after that performance, after that epic performance. What negativity? What you were like, saying about no, the team at the top. hold a while now. Back up the bloody truck. Like, we didn't score a point in the second half. Uh, we gave away a silly penalty. We gave them an opportunity to have a second shot at a conversion. Do you think if the positions were reversed, the All Blacks would have but, but done wasn't that? Wasn't that a magnificent no, performance? Look, look, do you want me to say it was a magnificent but performance? But I'm asking you. But uh, of course. Like, do you think I'm blind or something? Do you think I'm totally without comprehension I'm of about a rugby <laughs> union? Of course it was magnificent. But you ask Sean O'Brien, he's just told you, losing a match like this after that effort is simply not enough for them. And we said at the very beginning, all three of us, we said this team would not be humiliated. We said this team would come out and deliver an outstanding performance. And they did. And it wasn't enough. And that's very sad. I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. I'm de like, yeah. dissect the game, I'm devastated yeah. because it was one of the great games. Yes. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you've got, to, you know, you've got to take your hat off to New Zealand. They carried the ball 60 metres to score in the last minute. They had belief. But, my, what a performance from Ireland. You know what I mean? The New Zealanders couldn't have hung their head if they lost that game. They deserved yeah. to lose it just as much as Ireland deserved what, to win. What you go away from that game, I mean, you're privileged to be at occasions like yeah. this. Oh, absolutely. And we were. And we thought we got there. So the dejection amongst oh, everybody yeah. to have it a bit like 1990 one and Gordon Hamilton know, and that, those type yeah. of things. Yeah. But the performance level, oh, and, and that's what Joe Schmidt can be saying, that is the level of that's physicality, the bar. That's the bar. everything that we can reach to be the top side. There wasn't a victory, but there was but a resurrection. But they have to learn, Connor's right, they have to learn from it. They've got to be more consistent and give themselves more opportunities to play when and they, beat teams When like they this. play with that physicality yeah. and that... Paul O'Connell, that's why when I heard his interview and he used that word brutal, brutality, you knew that's what they but, went oh, into. Oh, they were magnificent, Connor, magnificent. That's Connor. the level against a brilliant all-black oh, side. Yeah. Any side that were able to finish yeah. a game, make mm. the offloads to actually win that have game. Have the confidence. Wow. I, I mean, thought it was, was I thought it was special. I thought when that penalty when he gave that penalty to clear the lines, I thought that is it. Three minutes to play. Yeah. It's just that the Irish were dead on their feet and you saw guys like Gordon Darcy so brave, he was limping oh. on one foot. They're all the players. But for Brian O'Driscoll of all people, you know, they've never beat New Zealand. He was that close to the ideal scene. And, and huge performances from people who oh, were casting fabulous. doubts on at the top of the program. Absolutely, Let's and I fair. put up my hand I said I thought that the game would be won and lost in the type five and I would have to say that Ireland obliterated New Zealand in the type five. New Zealand made some great changes, Messam come on, Coles came difference. over, made a big difference, but stand up all that type five. Got the scrums oh, no. right, got the line outs right, got the dyna dynamism right. You feel for Johnny? I mean, he like to, to get himself, and, and he will be in that dressing room. God, Ronan will be the one to be able to talk better than anybody. He's a goal kicker. Johnny Sexton was magnificent today. If that kick, which he'd expect to get, goes over, it is game over. And it just left that but little bit But you know, Sport Connor is oh, about the last minute it's, going yeah. to the TMO. Was that pass forward? We didn't know. Then we the charge down, occasions. then the charge down, yeah. and the but, other but, kick. But, but, but we came into the studio, George, on the floor, and the no, whole no, situation. No, no, hang no, on, no, let me just ask no. you a question, George. I know George. what you're going to say. <laughs> no, you don't know it's what I'm going so to say. You don't know what I'm going to say, George. So predictable. Will you let me ask you a question? Okay. Yeah, I'm here to ask you questions, ask OK? Away. Don't be so rude. Ask we come away. into this studio on the floor. We're in a much better place now. Is that a fair enough question? The entire nation came into this match in the same position. We merely reflected the feelings of the entire nation that it was unlikely that we would beat New Zealand. However, we said it is really possible that this, uh, these proud Irish players, I think you forget what I said before this match started, about how my grandson would be proud of these men in green shirts. And they are, and I am, of these men in green shirts. They delivered an extraordinary performance. And that surprised us, it surprised the bookmakers, and most importantly, it surprised New Zealand. And that is why New Zealand at half time were shell shocked. The two minutes from time, they were so shell shocked that New Zealand fly half kicked the ball away, which was incredible. That's how we, how near we brought. Them so we've come out of this up. in a different place, as I'm saying, Connor. Well, I think what what the team, what Joe, the accuracy, the physicality they played that first half more than anything with. Joe Schmidt will be able to say, that is what we are. Thank that you. has to be the bar. And if you're playing against lesser teams, 
it kills them. Yeah. And Connor that's, that's will, will tell you as a coach, when you have the ability to play like that, the question as a coach will ask, if you can play like that today, why can't you play it like next week and the week after and the week after? What we've seen is an abject display last week against Australia, a phenomenal display this week. What display are we going to get next time out? That as a coach is what Joe Smith said to say. You've proven you can play like that against the best team in the world unbeaten. OK, Six Nations, we go out and play like that oh, against France, But you, France, saw, you saw quality, didn't you? Oh, qu pff. Quality and bravery and passion, everything that's good about sport. But I mean, again, the situation, as I said before the match, I said the way to beat New Zealand is take them on up front and also harry and hassle them and throw the kitchen sink and everything. And that's what Ireland did. Every run they yeah. were competing. Connor, and yeah, as, as the person who's still involved in the game at the highest level. Isn't it true, though, that you, and you gave all this for 40 minutes? What we don't know is what was the tank. How full mm. was the tank at half time? Because they had given so yeah, much. Let's put, let's let's put, but you're always going to be against yeah. a team of that quality. Yeah. The fact that we got the lead meant we had something to defend. Yeah. We're always, but when you think of the little margins Popey talks about, you think down yeah. here, yeah. the mall going yeah. towards the line, the little things. So much went Ireland's way and just those little things. There was an extraordinary performance in the breakdown. Ireland won, won seven of New Zealand's ball on the oh, ground. They just attacked like dogs. Yeah. Dog, they just literally it. went it was in a, and said, and everybody, it was Devon Toner who'd like using his six foot ten, it was Gordon Darcy. Every single person just attacked with and it shows a ferocity. You. And it shows your rugby can be professional, they can pay all the money they like. It comes down to mm. a simple game at the end of the day. And Ireland, in the first half, Ireland played it simple. Round the corner, one off runners, but they were getting over the gain line every time. And that was the difference. They were encroaching into the All Blacks territory. They held on to ball, they robbed ball. Those things are just basics of so, rugby. Sometimes you over intellectualise yeah. games, and yeah. it comes down yeah. to just. Passion physicality and, and passion retaining and the ball and, and simple things done well. That's what was there. Who were the outstanding Irish performances? Who, what, Carney, outstanding. Uh, I, I, I think the outstanding performance was whoever during the week, I think all this happened during the week, yeah, yeah, yeah. who down in Carton House and I, it generated this attitude. And I think you have yeah. to say Paula. that O'Connell, and O'Connell has done this too often, I think, for it to be a fluke, that he leads with this immense physicality and bravery that other people follow. Well, he was the outstanding. very, very first Abraham place of the game, Abraham. the very first time we carried, Paul O'Connell got yeah. his hands on the ball twice. He got around yeah. the corner and he carried and he said, hey, I'm going to have a go at these guys. Yeah. And everyone follows well, I think we'd They have, will be devastated. We'd have to say the players that we questioned prior to this yeah. game delivered. Uh, Tona yeah. delivered, in my opinion, had a, a phenomenal match. Uh, Cronin came on, had a great match. Yeah. But, but Ross had a great match. The guys that we thought yeah. might not carry the ball did more they, than... They, would they also played like a Joe Smith team, did they not? They, they played plenty of ambition, but I yeah. think they were direct. Yeah. I think they were. When you look back on that first half, Simple. you can see that they got around the corner. They won the collisions. They won the breakdown. You will. They will hate this inside at the moment. The, the, no, the moral that's victory, the thing. The moral victory no, thing for them no, will mean yeah. nothing. Moral, the moral victory is coming from behind. If the All Blacks had been leading 22-10 right. and Ireland had to come back, that's the moral yeah, victory. Not right. to lose when they should have yeah. had this the great is, possibility of winning. This is Devastating. What, this is what the Troika doesn't understand. The Troika can beat us down, but. Okay. As a nation, we are at our best in adversity. And if only right. the Troika understood that, it realised. Come on, George. Over, over the, the trenches. <laughs> over the trenches, you can't. Okay, right, yeah. okay. I hope That's the army. I hope the Troika is watching. We'll take a break, come back, and of course, we'll be joined by Shane and Ronan.